Hi, I'm Johnny Pell, uh, ukulele, steel guitar, and guitarist. Uh, I recently purchased a Rickenbacker guitar, what I thought was an original Rickenbacker. It was uh, advertised as a, a Rickenbacker eight-string guitar with a one and a half inch uh, horseshoe pickup on it. And uh, this is what I actually received in the mail. First of all, uh, the neck on a Bakelite. Uh, a correction on a Rickenbacker guitar is made of Bakelite. This is a wooden neck, as you can see here, and it's got uh, colored dots on it. Now, uh, they did say it had colored dots on it, but they didn't say it was a wooden neck as such. And I'll turn it over because the Rickenbacker Bakelite neck actually has ribs here. Okay, this does not have ribs. It's made of wood. So we have an unoriginal neck. Uh, number two, uh, they did concede that the machine heads were changed. They were not original and uh, indicated they were Schallers. Well, these have the Schaller insignia and it says made in Germany. However, uh, one of the uh, uh, machine heads slipped. Now, <laughs> Good Schaller machine heads do not slip. Uh, and I understand from some internet research that there are some fake Schallers out there that have plastic gears instead of metal gears inside. And I think that's what we happen to have here. Okay, that's the neck issue. Now if we'll get a good shot on the body here. This appears to be a uh, Rickenbacker body. This appears to be Bakelite, although I'm no expert on the subject. Here's a rear view. And back to the frontal view. Now this is the horseshoe pickup. I don't know why that tape is on there. <coughs> And let's see if we can get a view of the back side of that. Some of you experts out there or people that have had experience with Rickenbackers, maybe you can uh, tell me about this. It looks like a horseshoe pickup. However, uh, when I fired it up and ran it through a Roland amplifier, uh, there was a little hair on the strings, a little after fuzz and turned out that the strings were a little too close to the pickup so I had that adjusted and that took the, uh, the little distortion away. However, and taking it to an engagement, uh, the, it was underpowered. So apparently the pickup is dead, although there's still magnetization. Well, so for some reason that must be aluminum. Yeah, there's, there's some magnetization there doesn't feel like a whole bunch so it's possible that this needs to be remagnetized <coughs> and uh, that pickup I'm not sure if that's an original pickup in there now moving on to the potentiometers any vintage guitar should have the original parts in it however uh, that's not an original these are not original potentiometers uh, the, uh, the tone pot potentiometer <coughs> is an Omite Type AB 015-MEG uh, number CU-1541 and it's made in the USA. Uh, the volume pot just has the number on it 250K and upside down an Omega uh, symbol B like Bob and it's got the old flying saucer knobs here which are accurate, but the flying saucer knobs are on top of unoriginal potentiometers. I don't know what this tape is all about on here. And notice that the wires are not vintage. The vintage wires had cloth covered, uh, uh, had cloth covered over them. Uh, these are plastic covered, so these are modern day. And. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, it, it needs work probably in both departments. I'm not sure that wiring is correct. 
that may have something to do with the lack of uh, <coughs> appropriate volume for this uh, unit. Also, what I wanted to say about the uh, neck of the guitar, you'll notice this improperly has a Rickenbacker logo on it. That's a uh, Rickenbacker Electro Los Angeles. But note that the actual uh, symbol is very close to the edge of the guitar. If you look at any Rickenbacker guitar, there's a lot of space between the edge of the logo and the edge of the guitar neck. So this was purportedly transplanted on there, and I do not believe this to be a Rickenbacker neck. I'll entertain any arguments from you experts out there, but this, this looks like a custom-made wooden neck because I understand it. As I understand it, the Bakelite necks were fairly easy to break. Uh, also, this is not an original <coughs> a Rickenbacker nut, nor is the base or the pickup um, anchor here. Okay, this goes here on the back of the guitar, the bridge. Uh, this part here goes underneath to anchor the strings to the butt of the uh, guitar. And there are holes, of course, drilled through the guitar. Uh, I don't know if Rickenbacker actually drilled holes. I know the original had a flanged plate on it. Okay, uh, this is uh, video number one. Uh, I'll be uh, making video number two uh, shortly uh, to reassemble the guitar and to hook it up. And let's see what she sounds like. All right, Johnny Pal here. I'll see you in video number two. Mahalo.